Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome into the video today. Um, I'm in on the test realm for Wizard 101, the brand new update that brought about Selenopolis, the new little quote-unquote world area, as well as new mechanics to the game, as in magic weaving and fusion, all that good stuff there. Today, we're going to be talking about the quote-unquote best schools to weave into as each school that Wizard 101 has in the game. Um, I'm just going to kind of be telling you guys what spells you get and the benefits of weaving into one or, in some cases, multiple different options. Um, starting off, I want to say that this update is specifically meant to be a PvP update. So what I'm telling you, the information that I'm giving you guys, is specifically oriented towards PvP. This is also just a test realm. Things are subject to change. And this is also just one opinion. This is my opinion. This is what me and some others in my community have talked about and have, you know, kind of discussed different options and we've kind of come up with what we think could be the best um, spells and schools to weave into to get as each school. Before we go into it, I wanted to explain real quick kind of what weaving is. And what you're going to do is you're going to go up to one of these trees and you're going to click select weaving school. You can only select one school at a time to weave with. You cannot do multiple. You pick one. And when you select that as your weaving school, you have to go through a series of quests in order to rank up, in order to be able to purchase the spells for training points that you can get. And like, for example, you have uh, Firestorm Blade, which requires Storm Weaving Rank 1. You have the Tempest Wyvern, which requires Storm Weaving Rank 2. So you have to do those quests in order to rank up to use your training points to purchase the quote-unquote weaved spells. Starting off with Fire, you're going to go to the, the tree named Surge. The reason that I think Fire is the best to weave with Storm is because, first of all, you get this Firestorm Blade, two pips, 45% blade toward Fire and Storm. Um, and this is also because it's just good utility here. You get a Fire Blade, Storm Blade, and Fire naturally is going to um, use pins to gain Storm Damage and Storm Pierce. So you're already going to be doing more damage with Storm spells that you use, like Storm Zelda to get rid of overtimes, and previously like Triton to get rid of heal overtimes. But with you, when you weave into Storm, you get two spells. This is going to be the same with every school. There's one spell that's more utility-based, like the Firestorm Blade. And then you have another spell, like the Lightning Dragon here, that you have to fuse. Spell Fusion is a little different because it requires you to have two spells in your hand at the same time. For example, Lightning Dragon, you have to have Triton and you have to have any version of Fire Dragon. Any version of both spells, you can bind them together to make Lightning Dragon. So you have to have them in your hand at the same time. But the Firestorm Blade, you get that spell as its own card. And the reason picking Lightning Dragon over the other spells that you can fuse into as a fire is just because this spell is just miles better than the other ones that it offers you um, based on utility, based on damage. So it clears your two hots, puts on two fire overtimes, very good damage because you'll have those storm pins, you'll have possibly some storm buffs as well to go with it. Very good overall spell here. All right, up next we have Storm. And Storm is going to be a bit of a different one. Um, we've kind of looked through all of it and... Storm doesn't really, you don't really need to weave into a school as a storm if you don't want to. It is definitely not really a necessity at all, just because of how powerful storm is by itself. Um, if you were to want to weave into a storm, or want to weave into a school as a storm, the, th the best three are probably going to be life, myth, and death. Those are your best three. And not even because of the fusion spells. For the most part, it's because of the utility spells they come with. You have one of three options. You have the Flood Amplify, the Typhoon Attenuate, and then the Quake Trap. Those three are going to be the best Storm utility. You have either the Aura, the Curse, or the Double Trap there. Um, and if you are wanting to have a Fusion spell, we look through all of them. And the one that's given from the Life Tree right here, which is the Green Serpent, is the best out of all the others that we kind of looked at. I mean, because it clears... It clears traps off of you and it, um, it puts on weaknesses and it does does damage. And plus, it requires you to have Levi Leviathan and Centaur in your hand. And Leviathan storms do tend to carry occasionally. Um, Centaur, not really, but I mean, I don't know. The, the fusions are not really the big picture here of this one. It's more so the utilities. If you want to get a fusion, this might be the best one. I'm not 100% sure. Once again, like I said, test realm, we don't really know. Um, but that's probably going to be your best bet. All right, up next we have Ice. And Ice, really no question about it here, um, going to be weaving into the Storm School. Once again, second time we've had this. Um, you get the Blizzard Blade, another uh, double blade, 45% for each one. Well, it would be easy for Ice to run Storm Pins. You can run Storm Pins as an Ice. 
And that's because you get this spell, the Tempest Wyvern, 840 storm damage. If you have storm pins, you can do a lot of damage from this hit. You clear two overtimes from yourself, which is what you get destroyed by by fires most of the time. Fires would just cook ice with overtimes. And you also get to put on traps per overtime that you clear. So you get to put on two 30% ice traps if someone has two or more overtimes on you. Very, very hands down, just the best one out of all the others you can see here on the screen. This one was just a no-brainer here. Tempest Wyvern requires you to have um, Ice Wyvern and Stormzilla in your hand at the time, which are spells that you would both use as an ice because Stormzilla also helps clear overtimes. And I know it got nerfed with the not having the Chromatic Blade anymore, but Tempest Wyvern could be a is pretty much the replacement for Stormzilla here, and it's going to do more damage. So it's really good. Up next, we have Death. And looking, looking through Death was a little bit interesting. We were trying to kind of figure out which one would be the best. And ultimately, we said Fire at the moment, um, because mainly because of the fusion spell. So the Fire utility spells are kind of dog shit, I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't even know which one is for the Death. It's the uh, Ash Draconian. I mean, you get... You get two four-round overtimes. I mean, th I don't know why this is a utility. It, whatever. This one doesn't really matter. What really kind of matters is the Pyre Dragon. This requires you to have the Skeletal Dragon and uh, I think it's Elephant in your hand at the same time. Um, clears three shields, and you get a Death Blade per shield. It also does 525 fire damage. Deaths also naturally have fire pins. They use fire pins, especially for, like, Fire Elf, too. So this would be a better thing to have here to help clear shields. Four pips can do some pretty good damage, and it also gives you blades in return. So a very solid option here, just compared to the other the other schools weave fusion spells, not the greatest. Um, if you wanted a different utility, you could check out the other schools and see what kind of utility you could get as a death. But I really like the Pyre Dragon spell. All right, up next we have the Life School, and going into the Life, I think we had a couple options here. The top two we came up with was Myth and Fire. Um, I personally think that Myth is going to be one of the best to weave into as a life, and that is because of the Centaurion spell, which is the fusion spell that you get for weaving into um, Myth here. And it requires you to have um, Minotaur and Centaur in your hand to fuse together. But as you can see, this spell clears five shields. You get a 30 blade per shield that it clears, and it also does 695. Typically, you'll see the uh, you'll sometimes see a Lith strategy in PvP where lives will run like Myth damage and stuff too. Not really hard to set that up as a life. Um, and if you can get that combo in your hand and get this in, in certain situations, it can be very very good. You also get the Memory Trap as your utility here. Could could be good for any spell really. I mean, you could be good for your life spells, and then if you do, if you are able to use Centaurion, um, then it can be good to boost the damage of that. The other one that we kind of thought about was the Fire spell. This spell was the Forest Fire one. It does two 790 damage over times over five rounds. It also clears three shields and gives you blades per shield that it clears. So it's also another one of those that you know gives clears shields, gives the blade. It's four pips. Um, it requires you to have uh, Treant and Elephant in your hand at the same time. And you know, as a life, I feel like it's not the. I think Centaurion's better. Um, this one's also pretty good. And then also compared to the other spells that life gets, I mean, three of them require Forest Lord. And it's just not really the best look here for, for life. Um, but I would say myth, myth being number one, fire being a second place behind um, myth weaving into. Next up, we have myth. And there are, once again, two schools that I kind of have, uh, you know, close first and second here for what to weave into as a myth. Um, first up, we have the ice school. And weaving into the ice school gives you, of course, the double trap. You have the myth trap and the 40% ice trap that it gives you, as well as the fusion spell of the Blizzatar. Blizzatar, 615 ice damage, clears five blades, and this is really good because Myth doesn't really have a super strong blade counter as good as this, um, so having this spell could be pretty good, and it also gives you a 35 trap per blade that you clear, so that's pretty good utility there, I would say. The other option for Myth would be Weaving with Death, and of course you get the Curse here, which is the, you know, the aura you put on your opponent, which pretty much gives you a four-round trap. On your opponent that's what it does um, and you know you have the myth one and the death one and then you also have the poisonous toad now this helps myth get rid of heal over times it does 520 death damage gets rid of two heal over times and puts on an additional myth trap 25% per heal over time you get rid of personally I think the blizzard is stronger in this one you have to run humongo frog which is like not good at all um, 
And then if you're going to try to get rid of Hots and you're going to have Skeletal Pirate in your hand because you need to combine Humungo Frog and Skeletal Pirate for this one, just use Skeletal Pirate at this point. I think the Blizzatar is better. And also compared to the other ones that you can get from this school, this is just probably the best option here. Um, either Blizzatar and then Poisonous Toad, probably the best too. And last but not least, we have Balance. Now Balance was kind of a tough one to look around for. None of these spells really that you can kind of see here are like the greatest. The one we found was the Death Scuttler and does 330 death damage and it puts on a chromatic minus 35% weakness per blade the opponent has. It, it does not clear the blade and put a weakness. It keeps the blade on, but it puts the weakness on. So, I mean, you know, take with that what you will. Uh, it does this and then you also get the um, this curse here, which if I'm correct on this, if it works in this way, then it's good. I could be completely wrong. Please do not flame me in the comments if I'm wrong on this. I think this is going to, it's pretty much going to put a balance trap for four rounds on somebody because what it does, it's going to increase the amount of death damage for four rounds, but it's also going to convert any balance damage that applies to this person into death damage. So in theory, if you hit him with a death spell, it will, you know, do the 35% buff to death. And if you hit him with a balance spell, it will convert that to death and give you the 35% buff as well. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's how I think it works. If that's how it works, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, and plus it helps balance, balance fight the impending aura wars we're going to be having in this new meta PvP with these uh, curses that have been coming out. As well as the curses, the new curses um, coming out in the Astral School as well. Yeah, balance pretty much go with, with death here. I think that's probably going to be your best option um, with the death scuttler compared to the other ones that were up on the screen. Just not the uh, not the greatest here. Not the greatest here. All right. Well, I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. Um, hope you guys understand kind of a little bit more about uh, weaving and kind of what you want to do with uh, your school for PvP. If you even want to do it at all. If you don't, I mean, you don't have to. Um, but I think I think it could be a cool. It's gonna be very interesting, and it's gonna maybe shift the meta a little bit in PvP. Um, I think a lot of these things are very situational. Um, so especially the fusion spells, having to have two cards in your hand at the same time can be either can be really really tough to do and it can be a lot of times where it just never really works so it's just going to be a, a lot of experimentation and kind of seeing how it works when you actually get it into live realm and we actually start doing pvp but um yeah those are all my opinions and i think what i think that you should uh weave into as each school and pvp and um yeah i hope it was helpful and i'll see you guys in the next one peace